Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how, with a little bit of Python, you can take two or more stable diffusion images, extract a random amount of prompt tags from each of them, and then recombine them into this large string that will be this sort of weird, almost genetic mixture of the original images, which you can then feed back into stable diffusion, creating amazing mashups of the original images. Alright, without further ado, let's get started. The very first function is a bit of code that extracts the raw metadata from the images. The metadata is stored on these things called text chunks. There's details in the W3 specifications if you'd like to learn more. You can read what's in the text chunks by using what's in this website that I have listed below, or opening any stable diffusion PNG file in a notepad. That's essentially all that there is for this section because quite honestly, I don't really know that much about this myself. Now that we have the raw metadata, we need to refine it. So, going through stable diffusion images, if you look through a lot of them, you'll see that there's a pattern that shows up before and after the positive prompts. So, all we have to do is write a little bit of code that filters everything before and after that, and we're left with the positive prompts. Now, again, I need to mention, I tried this with a novel AI um, image that I got off the Buru. For example, this Flandre image does not work because... It's from Novel AI, and they set up their metadata differently. So I'm kind of working on that. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. Assuming that our images are good, now we have to repeat the process. The way I went about this part was pretty straightforward. First, I defined a location, and at that location, we're going to store only PNG files that we want to combine. Then we just make a loop that goes through every PNG in that folder, and then it calls the metadata function. And then we take the output from it and combine it into one big list. So pretty straightforward. Finally, we get to the end, and this part is really up to you, but I'm going to show you the way that I went about doing it. I have a few different iterations, but this is the way that I quite like. The first thing is I defined a variable that goes from 0 to 1 that changes how many tags will get extracted, 0 being none and 1 being all of them. We use this number to define a ratio of how many tags we want to extract on a per image basis. This way, if you have one image with six tags and another with 60, and you have a ratio of 0.5, you're going to get three tags from the first image and 30 tags from the last image. It gives you a nice fair balance. After that, all we have to do is output it and we are good to go. That's pretty much it. Um, that's really all that there is to this bit of code. I would like to Eventually down the line, I'd like to streamline this into some sort of easy-to-use extension, but I haven't quite figured out how to do that. For now, though, I'm quite happy with the results, and I hope you are too. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, leave a like or a comment. If you'd like some more Python stuff, let me know. Thank you for watching.